Hi, this is Ross here from Wizards Code, and here is my zombie shooter that I'm making with assets from the asset store. See how quick I can knock this out. The game is all about conservation of ammunition. The zombies just keep coming. That's what a zombie game is all about. But how do you get through the game? We currently have only 64, 60 bullets left, and it's going down fast. What do we do? Previously, we had ammunition crates, and you just had to find them lying around. But now, in this episode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace those crates with barrels. You see a barrel there. It may contain ammo, but the zombies are still coming. If we go over to one of these barrels, we can start to hack it open using our axe. But that creates noise, which attracts our zombies. Another thing we're going to do in this video is introduce headshots. That will enable us to take out zombies with a single shot instead of the three or four that it takes to the body. So let's get started. The first thing that we're going to need to do is drag in our barrel prefab. So we'll bring that out of 3D Forge's assets. We're going to use destroy it, which is an asset that blows up prefabs effectively. I've done a full video review on this asset, so take a look, link up above. We'll need some Neo FPS integration files and you can find these on GitHub. The URL is on the screen. Go to the latest release, download the Unity package and import it as normal. Once you've imported that, you can add Destroy It to your barrel. The documentation for Destroy It is really clear, but it's very easy. Making it have 100 hit points, which is the standard that we use for things in Neo, but you can set it to whatever you like. Then we're going to add a health manager for Neo. And then finally, a damage handler from the Neo FPS Destroy It integration pack. Last thing we need is a simple surface, which will make wood, since it's a barrel. And that should be enough. We should be able to destroy our barrel at this point. Oh, no, that's not correct. We've got some errors. As you can see, what we need to do is we need to set up destroy it on the scene by using the menu item. And now we can shoot the barrel. Let's take a look. Excellent, there it is, we shot the barrel, but it has no ammo in it. So to get start quickly, let's test with the ammo we created in a previous video, which was an ammo pickup crate. So we're gonna drop that onto the barrel, and then we're gonna tell Destroy It to preserve that item for us once we destroy the barrel. So let's try that. You can see the crate is bigger than the barrel, but that's all right, and there it is, it's left behind. Let's reload. So we're down to 66, go over it, and we're up to 70. So that all works well. So what's happening now is I'm making another ammo pickup using um, an, a mag, and we're going to try that in a moment. So if you don't know how to do this, check out the earlier video that in this series or check out the Neo FPS documentation. It's really pretty easy. Once we've done that, we can add it to the barrel. And now when we shoot the barrel, we should get our ammo clip and we do excellent it's just it's not centered on the barrel so let's just zero that on the transform and we're good to go now we just need to add that into the dungeon theme this was something i covered in the previous video what it does is generate the dungeon for us and in this case we're going to add in these barrels for the player to find once we have that we have our ammo in the scene but what about headshots earlier on I promise that we do headshots too. They look something like this. Bang. And so let's have a look. So this does require some changes in the Emerald code. It's documented in the Neo FPS Emerald AI, as you can see on the left here. It's pretty easy to do. You also need to make some changes to the prefabs that you had earlier on. Again, easy to do, just takes a little bit of time. But once all those steps are done, you are able to change the damage at different points on the Emerald AIs. So you can have weaker damage on the arms and the legs, harder damage or bigger damage on the head, which is what we're doing here. And what you end up with ultimately is a full damage system that enables you to do headshots. So I'm just setting up the headshot colliders as we can see here. So let's move past this section here. If you need to do it yourself, the documentation is excellent. Once you're done, this is what it looks like. We've got our sniper rifle out, straight in the head, one bullet, dead. And again, one bullet, dead, again 
because it was undead, of course. So next up, I am going to add colliders to the legs and arms and to the body so that they can, I can change the damage to each of those points. So again, let's fast forward through this and take a look at what it looks like at the end. Let's pull out our sniper here, try a headshot. Yes, very nice. Try another one. Oh, missed. Try again. Got him. All right, let's try a body shot. 100, excellent. But what's the point in having headshots if you don't also have ragdolls to enable some pretty impressive flying death animations uh, when you get that headshot? So what I'm doing here is just the standard ragdoll setup. There's nothing uh, special for Neo FPS or for Emerald here. So just take a look at the standard Unity documentation, set up your ragdolls, and you are good to go. Okay, and that's all I've got done this week, so we'll stop there. Uh, we have our exploding barrels with ammo in. We have our ragdolls and our headshots. Uh, you can see that we're using quite a lot of ammo up here trying to uh, get those headshots. So I need to build my skill. Also need to do some nicer animations. The ragdolls are there, but they're looking very stiff. So uh, I'll do some work on the physics around that. I also think I'm gonna do some work on the AI as well. Uh, Emerald AI is awesome to get you going. But it's a bit dumb, to be honest with you. Uh, it's ideal for animals, but not so good for enemies in general. So there's a few things that I want to do moving forwards. So if you want to check those out, subscribe, leave a comment for me. Let me know what you think of this series, what you want me to focus on. And I'll see you soon.